In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a remote method call using JSON and cause. Now, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and cause stands for Cross Origin Resource Sharing. Now, what is a remote method call, and why would you use it? Let's take a look at how apps are developed, particularly web applications. Now, in a typical web application, you would have in the back end a database, and you would communicate with that database via your app. The user would talk to that app via the front end. So the front end, the app, and the database would be tightly integrated together, and they would talk to each other. Now, typically, all three of these would be stored on the same server. So there would be no issue as far as uh, calling one another, as far as interacting with one another. But what if the need arose to call your application or your database from a remote location? For example, from a mobile uh, app. Now, the mobile app clearly doesn't live on the same server as your application and your database. Hence, you would have to call the methods in your application remotely. You'll have to call them from a third-party app. So how would you go about doing that? You'll start by creating what is known as an API. So you will expose an API. The, the, word, the acronym API stands for Application Programmer Interface. Now the API you can think of as remote controls for your application. So any application, whether it's a mobile app, whether it's your own front end, or even if it's an app written by a third party, an app that you didn't write, any of these that need to talk to your app can talk to it via that API and they could commute they could be forward and backward communications between them and you would use json javascript ob object notation to communicate between these uh, various uh, applications and your application your application in turn will talk to the database and vice versa okay taking a look at the code we have an ordinary html document here with uh, our head tags we've got an h1 and h3 and we've got a div which we've given an id of output we're going to use this div the text in this div to display the output from the uh, json call that we do now all the magic of this application actually starts here between these uh, script tags now what we have here is a jquery function the jquery function is making an ajax call and it's making a call to a URL and the URL lives on my local host. It's a PHP a script that lives on my uh, local host server, right? Because this is a Mac and I'm using the MAMP server, it's local host colon 8888. That's the default uh, port for the local host. Now, what I'm doing is that in the next line, I'm sending data to that uh, to that URL, and the data is. It states name is equal to Bob. The next parameter is the data type. We're stating that the data type is JSON. And then we put in two scenarios, the success scenario. So in the success scenario, we make a call to the remote script. The remote script takes in the information that we sent and sends back some JSON data. And that data will obviously be stored in the, the data variable. So what happens is, if that is successful, we do in fact uh, return with some uh, JSON data, we call this callback function, which simply outputs whatever the data is. All right, so it sets the HTML value of output, which is the ID output to data. In other words, this text, the line of text here, will be replaced with whatever is coming from the PHP script. In case of an error, this function is run. And this function, this callback function, simply uh, replaces the output, the text of the output um, div with an error. OK, so that's the JavaScript or the jQuery side of things. Let's see what's happening in the script itself, data.php. Now, data.php is remarkably simple. Let's skip line 2 for now, and I'll describe line 3 onwards. In line 3, we're simply creating a new variable called id, which is, and we're setting its value to uh, a string 1234. We're creating a, a variable called name, and 
we are using the dollar underscore get name now what is this doing this is interrogating the header it's looking at the header and it's retrieving the name uh, parameter that we sent from our index script so it's actually looking for this name uh, value pair here the key value pair so the key is name and the value is Bob so what it's doing in this uh, in my PHP script it's actually calling the the key so that it retrieves the value and that value Bob will be stored in dollar name the next thing we're doing is we are placing these items into an array because we have multiple values to return we're putting it into an array that's the simplest way uh, to return multiple values uh, from a remote method and then we are calling echo that's as simple as it gets we're calling the echo uh, of PHP and we are calling the JSON encode now JSON encode is a built-in PHP function that takes an ordinary array and converts it into a JSON array alright so we're passing it the dollar data array the one that we made uh, in line 6 and 7 and we are encoding this into JSON format now what's going to happen is when this is echoed it actually it returns the echo here serves as almost a kind of return type and that return type will send the data back there to my script and we will use that information inside this the callback function under the success parameter now going back to the data.php script looking at line 2 now what is the the purpose of line 2 now usually a lot of servers don't allow remote access they don't allow any calls from uh, any uh, remote uh, applications or remote front end so this parameter setting the header access control allow origin asterisk now the name access control allow origin is pretty, pretty self-explanatory it allows an origin to con uh, to gain access into the server and which one you can specify a URL here you can specify that only uh, access must be granted to certain specific uh, URLs or by putting in the asterisk the wildcard symbol we simply stating that allow everybody to access this alright so we're setting this into the header so our script will know now that uh, to accept um, access or remote method calls from any uh, any source and then the rest of the script runs and the data is sent back to our index.html